pockets. Have you ever cleaned underneath your plate in your sewing machine? If not, um, I'm just going to give a quick, little quick how-to on how to do it. I've been letting mine build up for about a month. I normally clean mine at least once a week, sometimes twice a week because I do quite a lot of sewing. I know some people have never cleaned them out at all. I'm curious to see how mine's going to look after a month because I don't leave it this long normally. So you should get a key, uh, which is like a, a screwdriver should come with your machine they all look, might look a bit different if not you just need a little flat head screwdriver i'm just going to take the foot off my machine now watch you don't catch yourself on your needle so these two screws here we need to uh, just unscrew now make sure when you take it out you leave it somewhere where you're not going to knock it off or lose it also, make sure if you've got a top loading bobbin like mine, leave your case on so you don't drop your screws in there. But you do need to put them away from your machine so that you don't knock the screw into the machine when you take your plate off. So I'm just going to put mine on the table at the side. Alright, just do this one. Okay, that's both screws out. So now this plate should just lift out. Now... I don't know if you can see in there all this fluff. Can you see all that muck? That just shows how the lint, most of that is lint from the thread that you're using. It also can get up under, under your machine as well. Under there. So you can imagine all that can bung up the workings in the machine. So you'll find your bobbin case here should lift out and lo and behold there's a whole load more of muck in there. So that just lifts out, put that aside. So you will probably find that in your, with your sewing machine, with all your tools, you've probably got a little brush, something like this. This is for clearing out your machine. Um, so you need to start getting all this fluff out and mostly it, it just picks up and sticks it right down in the machine it sticks to the brush so try and get any that you can get now I've got the light on my machine it is recommended that you turn your machine off I maybe use a light to do this. My machine is on, but my feet are well away from my foot pedal. Um, so I'm not going to set it off by mistake. Uh, but it is recommended you turn this off and I would I point a lamp at your machine just so you don't set it off. So you can see all this muck that's coming out here. And if you can't get down into your machine, that's just mainly from out of that bit. So it gets everywhere. And all this over time will jam up your machine. It gets stuck in the workings and your machine won't work quite as efficiently. So if you do it regularly, like if you if you sew all the time, if you sew most days, it's it's definitely worth checking checking this out every week. Now paintbrushes can be useful to get into the spots that you can't reach because I, I can see fluff down there and I can't get it there we go so get that on you might find if you haven't cleaned it for a long time as well that once you do this your machine will, st will run a lot smoother so Anywhere that you can see fluff, that's basically all you need to do. Now, as for oiling or um, things like that on your machine, servicing, check your manual. Basically, if your machine, your manual tells you to oil machine, your machine, then you need to do it. If your 
manual doesn't mention oil in your machine, then there's a good chance you don't need to. Mine doesn't tell me to oil it at all. There's nothing in mine that tells me how to do it. And I did check with the Dukey guys and they said I didn't need to oil it. it I can see grease, actual grease, machine grease in there. I have once or twice under under here where the bed goes i've put just a little tiny bit of grease in there because with all the cleaning out you can remove a bit of that grease but see there's a big clump of fluff in there see it's it's amazing how much all that has come out and it's only been three or four weeks since i last did it if you sew with gutterman thread all the time, it's, it, it doesn't get as bad as if you, say, use moon thread all the time. Moon thread is quite linty. If you use a lot of batting, wadding, and you don't um, have fabric on both sides, so your batting is against your machine, and you, so your needle is pushing down the... Um, it's pushing down bits from the wadding down into your machine as well. You also might find if your machine jams or your needle gets stuck, when you open up your machine like this, you might find a piece of thread that will have snapped off, a little, or a little bit of thread that's got pushed down into the machine that you've probably never noticed. And they can get uh, jammed into the workings here and round here and just stop things moving. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. You can use pipe cleaners and things like that to get down into spaces as well. Just be careful where you're sticking things. So as you can see from all that, that is just what I've pulled out my sheet machine after three or four weeks. So if you've never cleaned your machine at all or never been worried about how to do it, think uh, how much could be down in your machine if you are a regular, a regular sewer quite a little pile when you see it next to actually next to the machine put your bobbin case back in now mine here has a little ridge here you see you don't get it under the light this ridge here needs to be against this section here because it hits this bump here just make sure you put it in the right way around this bump here on mine I'm hit there that's where it stops so that's you need to make a note of that when you take it out so make sure you put it back in the right way give it a jiggle make sure everything's moving as it should and then we're going to put the plate back on there we go that's sitting in place get your screws you can see now why you have to put your screws away somewhere because if they ended up down in there, you'd need to go hunting for magnets to get them back out again. Another reason for cleaning, if you've got a sensor on your machine, let me just pull that off. I think mine's down in here um, for doing the foot up, foot down. There's a, a sensor for some of the functions that the machine does. That can get bits all covered up. Uh, on it as well so that doesn't work as efficiently if you don't clean it either so that's the screws back in just give them a tighten back up okay so put my foot back on and we're all set and ready to go again so i hope that helps you give your machine a regular clean and it will run a lot smoother and give you much better service and you're less likely to need it servicing as often.